Normally I like to get right into the tutorial, but I had to do that intro. <laughs> Let's say that you want this section of your timeline exported for some reason. Maybe you have a bunch of clips that you're grading and exporting for stock footage, or maybe you're sending a quick snippet of your video to someone and you don't want to send the whole timeline. Press R to bring up the range tool, drag that section of the timeline on the primary storyline that you'd like to export, go to File, Share, and share whichever way you'd like. And by the way, when you're exporting with the range tool, it is exporting the music and sound effects underneath, as well as any titles or elements that you have over top too. The range tool is also killer for quickly deleting sections of clips. Let's say you don't like this chunk of this clip. Hold down R, drag, press delete, and then let go of R. Holding down the R key allows you to temporarily use that tool, and then it immediately switches back to the select tool once you release the key. A more useful tip for using the range tool to cut up your clips is to select the part of the clip that you like and then hit option backslash. This deletes everything outside of the range you selected. This really comes in handy and can speed up your workflow quite a lot. And if you can't remember option backslash, head to trim and hit trim selection. With the range tool, you can also copy sections of your clips by making the selection with the range tool. So press R and drag, then press Command C to copy, and then hit V where you'd like to paste just that section of the copied clip. Something I use this tool for a lot is audio ducking. So basically, if I want my music to be louder or quieter at certain times in the video, I'll hold down the R key temporarily to use the range tool, select that section of the music, and I'll raise or lower the volume of the selection a few decibels by pressing Ctrl plus or Ctrl minus a few times. You can also just drag down the volume this way, as you may know, and for a more gradual adjustment, hold down command while you drag, so you're not raising and lowering the volume like 20 decibels so easily. Likewise, you can also use the range tool to delete multiple keyframes at once. Make a selection over the keyframes that you'd like to delete, then control, right click one of the keyframes, and hit delete keyframes. That way you don't have to go through each keyframe and delete them individually. You can also use the range tool to quickly make speed ramps. Make a range selection of the part of your clip you'd like to speed up. Go to your read time menu, speed up that section as much as you want, and then adjust the gradualness of your speed ramp by extending these opaque bars here. If you're curious to learn about some free, useful Final Cut Pro effects that you already own in your software at the moment, click on this video right here and have a great rest of your day, guys.